There are moments that try the human soul so violently and so perplexing that if the truth were told, all of us have had moments that we wanted to throw up our hands and walk away. Discouragement can creep in secretly, hide behind clothes, makeup, hairdos. Discouragement is so bold that it will even hide behind a smile. It will always ride to work with you. And if it doesn't catch a ride going to work, it'll catch a ride on the way back home. Discouragement will go into a tent. It will walk right into a Section 8 neighborhood. But don't think that it stops. Discouragement will walk right into a middle-class house. It won't just stop there. It'll go in a mansion and sit on the side of a jacuzzi and tell you life is not worth living. If you listen at discouragement, it will cause you to make bad decisions. It will cause you to think that life is not worth living. And secretly, behind the facade of a smile and a good morning and a praise the Lord and a how are you, you will wonder if you're ever going to get out of what you're into. One of the things that we know about life is that it is always changing. Sometimes you're up, sometimes you're down. Sometimes you're happy, and sometimes you're sad. Now that's that thing called life. And when we begin to understand and know that, accepting that reality that we will never ever have things just on an even kill all the time, that you're gonna have some ups and you're gonna have some downs. But during those down moments, that's where the growth takes place. That's where the work is. Anybody can feel good when they have their health, their bills are paid, they have happy relationships, the children are acting normal, business is successful. Anybody could be positive then. Anybody can have faith under those kinds of circumstances. See, but the real challenge, the real challenge of growth, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually, comes when you get knocked down. Adversity introduces a man to himself or a woman. How you handle it, that's where the growth takes place. And you can run faster with a hundred who want to go than with one around your neck. These people are bad for your health. Toxic relationships are relationships with people that always criticize you. All they can do is find fault. All they can do is just exploit your weaknesses. All they can do is remind you of the mistakes that you've made in the past. How do you think? And how do you get to think the way you think? And what made you think what you think right now? The, the, the history that, that, that created you is still with you. And even though you wear different clothes, drive a different car, it's the same person. Because somehow our history is so heavy, it's tough to cut loose. We still apologize for being successful. We feel ashamed to be in charge. See, there are some people that aren't good for you. So you got to look at the people in your life and find out what kind of person are you becoming because of that relationship. My mother used to say, birds of a feather flock together. You run around with losers, you will end up a loser. Now listen to me. I don't care if you're sick. I don't care what you're going through. If you're not dead, he ain't through with you yet. As long as you're waking up, you're still in the game. You can still make it happen. As long as that breath in your nostrils, boo, you're still in the game. You still can win. Now get your butt up. This is time to look at the relationships in your life and ask the question, what kind of person am I becoming because of this relationship? Am I growing mentally and emotionally and spiritually? Am I becoming a better person because of this relationship? Is it an asset to me or a liability? Don't save that last bullet for yourself. You lock and load that last bullet and you shoot it at your enemy. And you keep fighting and you keep fighting no matter what. And if you feel like your life is in a place where you can't get any lower, good because that means the ultimate challenge is ahead of you. It means you can only go up. See, but will cause you to procrastinate, 
but will cause you to hide out behind fear, but will cause you to come up with all type of excuses that you can validate your inaction. And right now more than ever, people need to look for ways to live their dream. People need, need to look for ways to make it on their own. There is no such thing as job security. There's no such thing as a storm proof or tragic proof life. Discipline is defined as self-imposed standards for the sake of a higher goal. All leaders have to have the quality of self-discipline. You are not a leader if you are not self-disciplined. A leader doesn't need much discipline from the outside. They self-impose discipline on themselves. And that is what we call self-discipline. Because what I want you to know, what I want to know, what I want to know, is that everything worthwhile is up here. Everything. There is nothing in your life, there is nothing in my life that's worthwhile, that's quick and easy. You have to fight for it every day. You have to climb for it every day. It doesn't come to you. It's not in three easy packages and it's not the cure to overnight success. Everything worthwhile is uphill. For anybody out there who's chasing greatness, who's trying to make a change in their life, who knows that there is something better out there for them, I'm talking to you. Because on your journey to whatever you want, right, to that ever elusive best version of yourself, there's going to be times in your journey where you catch yourself comparing your path to others. And that's the problem. There are those of you, you're still immature. When your excitement is up, your effort is up. But when your excitement goes down, your effort goes down. For some of you, you're too seasonal. When you're excited, man, you come into work the first week, the first month, the first three months when you got that job, you were excited, and so you were switching for effort. You on blade. Not you got comfortable and you're not excited no more. And guess what happened? Your effort has gone down. So do me a favor. Get off of that feeling stuff. Get off your excitement. We're not dealing with feelings because feelings go up and down. You don't have to be excited. You made a commitment to that job. Then nobody forced you to take that job. You sign your name on the dotted line. And commitment said, I don't care how I feel. I don't care if I'm excited. I don't care if I'm pumped up. I don't care if I'm fired up. You made a commitment. Now it's time to put up. The promise of the future is an awesome force. We look back for experience, but we have to look forward now for inspiration. And what gives us inspiration to get up in the morning and do our job, learn skills, develop all that we can possibly be, is the promise of the future. And it can be so powerful that it can overwhelm any adversary you might have, any difficulties you might have. Here's a key phrase, reasons make the difference in how your life works out. Reasons make the difference in your appetite and zest for taking on the challenge, doing the job, becoming successful. Mr. Schoff said, if you have enough reasons, you can do the most incredible things. You can get through the most difficult day. You can overcome the most unbelievable challenges if you have enough reasons. And so he said to me, if you haven't got a list of your goals, Mr. Rohn, it's probably because you don't have enough reasons. He said, I'm sure since I've met you, you have enough intelligence. And he said, you have enough good health. And he said, you have, you know, all of those things working for you. But here's what you must work on now is to have enough reasons. Looking into the future, developing reasons. Now here's a note to make. It's important to make sure that the greatest pull on your life is the pull of the future. Some people let the past pull them back, pull them back. The past can be like gravity if you let it to pull you back. Some people live in the past. They live in the darkness of the past. They live in the mistakes of the past. They live in the discouragement of the past. They didn't make it, you know, and that affects them for the rest of their life living in the past. So we don't want the past to pull us back to live in the past. So make this note. Dreams and goals can become magnets. Dreams and goals can become magnets. And the stronger the goal, the higher the purpose, 
the more powerful the objective, the stronger this magnet is that pulls you that direction. You are everything. Keep trucking and keep doing the things that you need to do. There's greatness in you. Say it as many times as you have to. It can even start as a whisper. There's greatness in you. But keep repeating it because the mindset works best with consistency. Even when it hurts, even when it's hard, keep moving forward. Keep believing in yourself. Every multi-millionaire and every multi-billionaire in this world that are living on the top have all decided that I'm going to commit myself to this career, this vision, this goal. No parties. They're going to call you names. They're going to say you're corny. They're going to call you a square. Those are the characteristics of a champion. Those are the characteristics of someone that have said that I've decided that I'm going to create a shift in this universe. When I'm discouraged, I need somebody to come alongside me to encourage me that weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. That kind of talk wakes up my faith. Most of us go through life pretending. Pretending that everything is okay. Pretending that, that we don't have any special goals or ambitions or desires. Pretending that we're satisfied where we are. But if you look at our behavior, if you judge based upon what we do, See, a lot of people pretend that they want more out of life, but all you have to do is watch their actions. That Some of y'all playing. Stop playing. You talking about you want to be successful. Stop tripping. You ain't serious. If you say it's too much, if you say you can't do no more, it means you don't want it. You're not willing to make the investment. It ain't never too much if you really want it. It's not the most talented person that succeeds. Talent don't mean a doggone thing if talent don't show up. It's not the quickest, it's not the fastest, it's not the strongest. No, 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 no. That's not the person who makes all their dreams become a reality. Sometimes it's less talent and more effort. So here's what we want to do in our goal setting session is to start looking into the future. What you would like to accomplish, where you would like to go, the person you would like to be. And see if you can't get a better picture of the finished objective. See yourself there. See yourself in possession of. For your dreams to greatly influence you, for the future to pull you, your future must be well planned. There are two ways to face the future. One is with apprehension. The other, with anticipation. Guess how many people face the future with apprehension? Why? They don't have it well designed. And without really thinking about it, they have probably bought someone else's view of how to live. You will face the future with anticipation when you have planned a future you can get excited about. When you have designed your future results in advance. In this way, the future will capture your imagination. It will exert an enormous influence on you. And to design your future, you must have goals. Well-defined goals are like a magnet they pull you in their direction. And the better you have defined them, the better you have described them, the harder you work on them, the stronger they pull. And they pull you through all kinds of difficulties too. Without goals, it is easy to let life deteriorate to the point where you're just making a living. It is not difficult to get trapped by economic necessity and settle for existence rather than substance. We all have a choice. We can either make a living or design a life. Now we're going to take some time to actually start designing the next 10 years of your life. We're going to start setting your goals. Goal setting is one of the most important skills to develop if you want to design your future. I'm going to give you enough homework not only to keep you busy for the rest of your life, but also to help you create the kind of life you may have always dreamed about living, but never believed possible. So let's get on with it. The sooner you exert the discipline, the sooner you will be enjoying the results. Once the results start to come, believe me, you won't mind the hard work and discipline it's going to take. Now, get a sheet of paper, and at the top of it, write the words, Long Range Goals. I'm going to ask you some questions, and I want you to the answers. 
If you don't have paper and pen handy, follow along with me now anyway, just listening. Then later, listen again when you can write down your ideas. After I've asked the question, which is the first part of this exercise, you can stop the tape and work on your answer. Entitle this part of it now, Workshop. And under the workshop, I'm going to ask a series of questions, and it's going to serve as a model so that you can teach this to your children, you can teach it in classes, you can teach it anywhere. Under the workshop, now here's the first question. What five things have you already accomplished that you're proud of? Let's take some credit before we go to work on the future. We've accomplished some things in the past. Let's give ourselves credit for that. What five things have you already accomplished that you're proud of? So I want you to make a note of that question and then I want you to do the exercise. Make a list of five things that you can think of that you've already accomplished that you're proud of. After up this time is time relationship you life. I grow mentally and emotion and scripturally. I am became a better person because of this relationship isn't an asset to me or liability. Don't save that last bullet of myself. You don't have that. You look and load that last bullet you shoot it an enemy and you keep fight and you keep fighting no matter what and you feel like your life is in a place where you cannot get any lower good because the means the unlimited challenge is ahead of you means you can only go up See what you course you to potentiality, but I will case you to hide out behind fear, but we will case you come up with all type of excuse that you can visibility your emotion. In fact, and right now more than ever people need to look for a way to live their dreams people need to look for a way to make it on their own there is no such thing as job security there is no such thing as storm proof the tonic proof life this line is this line as self improve a standard for the sake of higher goal all leaders have to have to the qualify of self discipline you are not a leader if you are not self disciplined a leader does not need much discipline from the outside they self impose discipline of the other and that the what you all the self discipline because what i wanted you to know what i want to know that everybody to know is that everything worth lets it's up here everything there is nothing in life there is nothing in life that's worth white it's quick and easy you have to fight it every day you have to claim for every day